Good morning, Master Gardeners. It's a beautiful October day in Maryland. So nice and cool and crisp. And I'm here to look at some plant roots. And I'm gonna look at the plant roots of this soybean field. Lovely crop of soybeans. And we're gonna look at a characteristic on the roots. And you know what roots are for. Roots are the, have the purpose of number one, anchoring the crop. Number two, they're absorbing nutrients. And number three, they're for food storage, for things like potatoes and stuff. Those are all natural things we know. And then you know there's two types of main root systems. There's anchor type roots that make a big tap root. And then there's the anchor root that's kind of fibrous. And so this is a fibrous root system, but parts that you can't see are microbial activity that take place in relationship between roots and the local soils, which is just amazing. So there's two types of relationships that of, of roots with bacteria and fungi in the soil where they can take the roots, make a relationship with the local fungus or bacteria, and they can actually steal nitrogen from the air. Now, you know the air you breathe, it's 78% nitrogen. And all that nitrogen, it is in an unusable form. But there are bacteria that can take the nitrogen from the air and fix it into a usable form where the plant can use it for fertilizer. And you know, nitrogen is the number one nutrient needed by plants because it's what makes them all green. It's what makes your lawn green. It's what the farmer uses on all of his corn to make keep his corn green. So nitrogen is essential, and yet it's so present out in the environment in a form that nobody can use. But this miraculous symbiotic partnership takes place between the root systems and bacteria. So there's two main types of nitrogen fixing that occur. One is microbial or mycorrhiza, but the one we're talking about today is, is called rhizobacteria. And on the roots of this, of this, um, uh, this is a soybean plant I dug up and you can actually see now microbes you, you typically can't see because they're, they're dogs. Are, get out of here, dogs. Go on. The microbes are living in these little shelters. There's little houses on here and there's little microbes living inside these little balls. So you can go out in your own soybean field right now and dig them up and you can see these little nodules living on there. And the bacteria live inside these little shelters. So what it, it's a symbiotic relationship, which means both benefit. What's the soybean get? The soybean gets nitrogen fertilizer from this. What does the rhizobacteria get? It gets starches and things that it can live on and survive. So it's symbiotic relationship. As long as this plant is alive, these bacteria can live inside there and they convert the gas. So it's a pretty cool partnership that's taking place between plants and roots. So you're thinking, okay, well, what plants do this? Mostly plants that are in the legume family. So right here in the grass, look, we have clover down here. Look, nice crop of clover growing in the lawn. This is fixing nitrogen from the air and taking it and translocating it into a form that the plants can use. This whole soybean field, it's the reason that farmers do crop rotations and they're adding corn one year and then in the, every two or three years they're putting in a soybean crop because it's adding the nitrogen right back in the soil. And so it's a cheap way to do fertilizer. So don't kill all the clover in your lawn. You want to keep it. And if you're growing things like beans, you probably think, well, do I need to add rhizobacteria into my crops? No, it's present already. It's in your compost. It's present in the environment. It's already here. This farmer didn't do a single thing, and yet there's probably 25 nodules on top of this one single soybean. So it's present in the environment. When you cut the plant off, the best thing to do is leave the roots in the ground because the roots have the little nodules with some of that stored nitrogen, and it's going to feed your crops. So cheap, easy way to fertilize, Master Gardener. And so plant more legume crops and definitely put cover crops in to keep these different organisms in the soil living. Have fun, do some cover crops.